Hi, uh, this is Billy. Today I'm going to test all my earbuds that I DIY all these years in some I purchased. A lot of us has to start with a earbud before you can test your crystal radio. And the other thing you need is a kind of transformer like this one. It's the step-down transformer to match the impedance. It's called KBP, KPB02. It's, uh, Manufactured in China, you can see the chart there. It supports the maximum impedance of 200k down to the minimum of around uh, 2 ohm, 4 ohm. Yeah. So you connect one wire to the ground 0 ohm and the other wire to the impedance that matches the output of your diode or crystal or most FET. Most FET I use 2.5k, diode I use 5k. Some crystal and other diode may go up to 100k. And for the output, you connect one wire of your earbud or earphone to the zero arm, a second wire to the impedance matching your earbud. For mine, I use 500 arm most of the time. If I have to use the crystal earbud or piezo electric earbud, I go to 5k arm. And your input terminal. So optionally, I created this meter to measure the input current in the micro ampere range from 0 to 50 and I also extended the range to 500 micro ampere and 5 micro ampere in case I am using a stronger antenna okay. and so I want to show you that I use the 10 mil capacitor so the audio signal will bypass the meter otherwise the audio signal will be much reduced if you connect an A meter in between today I really want to show you the differences of each earbud so previously I purchased this crystal earbud from Japan uh, I think most of us are using this type of crystal earbud and I find this type of crystal radio is very uncomfortable to wear because this is very hard and it scratches the skin of your ear and also because it cannot tightly couple with your ear so there's a lot of leakage of sound and the audio quality is very poor you tend to hear very high pitch instead of the original sound so what I did is I take this away I stack this on top this channel I channel the sound to to this silicon cushion and by doing that there will be zero gap between your ear and this ear buck and the sound will be much much better than if you hear it directly from this so that's why I created this one, stack it on top, uh, I stack this channel on top and I put in this cushion. Okay, and we are going to test this. Let's test the original, uh, my moving iron earbud which is by far the most sensitive one I got. I can listen to FM radio using this one. I've chopped off one end of the silicon earbud channel and just stick it on top of the microphone. And this will allow me to connect the earbud to the microphone uh, with no gaps for recording. Let me set the output impedance to 5k so we can test this conventional crystal earbud. Uh, this one has the modified cushion.
pixel test this crystal earbud that comes with a plastic uh, plug and I need to somehow plug my mic into the hole there Seen my DIY video about how to create a crystal earbud out of this type of buzzer, 4 to 24 volts, 85 decibels. It only costs you one US dollar. I find that it will, uh, it will produce the sound, but the other way it will not produce the sound. It just so to make it more comfortable to wear, again, we have to use this. Parts that come from the hearing aid earbud, the stand and uh, the cushion. You just stick the stand or the conduit on top of the hose of this buzzer, and then put a cushion on top where we can sit nicely in our ear. And uh, have zero gaps between our ear and this buzzer. Compared my own DIY earbud against this conventional crystal earbud, and I find the one that I'm holding now is uh, the, the DIY one on the right is actually much better quality, a bit louder than crystal earbud. You can try your own uh, and see how you feel. I find this microwave oven buzzer, it has one end opened, I find the volume is a bit lower, so if you want to make it louder, just cover the back with a piece of plastic. Again, we put in the stand, so we can put in the cushion. Let's do some testing. There is this very small buzzer that I find. It is much smaller than the previous buzzer. I think the volume will be lower because the surface area is a bit smaller. Let's see. I want to show you the best DIY buzzer ear butler. This one I made uh, a year back when I find this thicker type of buzzer because of the depth of the resonance chamber is much thicker than the previous one. Uh, the volume is a bit louder but the only thing is for this one you have to remove the components from the circuit board before you can use it for a but unlike the one on the left where you can just connect directly the black and red wire this one you can't you have to unshoulder the component and connect the wire directly into the piezo unit which is the metal that I'm pointing at now just get rid of the components and shoulder the black and white wire directly onto the circuit board here and close the Back with a cover. Besides having a deeper resonance chamber, the other reason why it's better is because I'm using the tip of a ballpoint pen to be the conduit, and that has a triangular shape. It's like the reverse of a trumpet that kind of focuses the sound energy into one point, and that will allow the sound to be concentrated at the center that uh, goes into your ear. Lastly, there is some very cheap earbud you can use as your crystal radio. This is the Hearing Aid earbud. It has the impedance of around 300 ohm. It's a moving iron earbud. 
uh, you can connect through two points then you have to convert that into your crystal radio plug uh, I converted this to a softer silicon cushion so it's easier to wear for a longer time so it comes like this you have to plug in the conduit and the cushion to be useful let's run some tests <laughs> 